hello, hello. Welcome back, my friends. If you're new here, I'm Olivia and I will draw things. If you follow me over on my other social medias, you know that I went on a trip recently and was gone for a good period of time. And in that period of time, I really wasn't drawing too much. However, I did wake up multiple times at 2 a.m. in a cold sweat, if you will. Thinking about these ideas that I really wanted to come to life this year and I'm really excited about. If you know me, you know that I am a lover of all things magical, girls, and magical. One of these ideas that I had was to make my own anime magical girl group because how could I not? I love them so much already. The whole idea is based off of this sword that I drew a few years ago to be sort of my brand slash logo that I actually didn't end up using. And now that I'm going back through old art and seeing it again, I fell in love with the design all over again. And this whole project is honestly based around that. And to go along with these characters that I am developing, creating a story, a plot, the whole shebang, maybe. I really wanted to make t-shirts of the weapon designs for the ladies. I think that'd be super fun. I would love to make pins, like chibi versions of them. I think that'd be super cute also. I really want to up my, you know, manufacturing game this year. I also found it incredibly helpful this past year when I was working month to month on themes. And I think allowing myself to have a set girl group and original characters will allow me to not hit those intense burnouts because it's not like I wouldn't know what to draw then. I would have something to go back to that's unique to me. and. I think that'd be pretty cool. So we're doing it. This upcoming year, I also really wanted to not solidify, but kind of hone in on my creative voice. I like to draw a lot of different things and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. However, I do think that sometimes I do get a little lost in trying too many things to where I can't really exactly explain to people what I do. <laughs> so I, I kind of want to figure that out a bit this year. And I think having this girl group and these original characters that I'm excited about and I hope everyone else is excited about will really help me with that. I also felt it was really important to showcase a diverse group of magical girls. I feel like that is something that I am very huge on because representation matters, kids. I didn't get to see too many characters or a lot of representation of me in the media and I think that is an extreme importance and not only is this me going back to fix my childhood, this is also for the young girls, guys, she's, they's, and gays to also be able to see themselves in the media. And if you don't like that, I wish I could say I'm sorry, but I'm not. It's my magical girl group, not yours. If you want only white characters, draw them yourself.
and normally I like big weapon small girl however this time around I wanted big girl big weapon <laughs> I really have an idea for each of my characters to be different fantasy-esque races, I guess, as well. So today I am going to be drawing a giant, although you can't tell in this illustration, she will be a giant. Along with her, I also have a witch, a half-elf, I think a dwarf. One of them is like half dragonfly, and that's the group. I'm really excited to keep showing you guys more and more of what I have planned and how they'll interact together and all these illustrations that I have in my head of them. So keep your eyes peeled, folks, because I'm so excited. So from there, I decided to develop a handful more characters and weapons of the cuter variety. This week's video is going to be about my lovely axe wielder. She has no name yet, so if you have any suggestions on that, please leave a name suggestion down below. My worst part about making characters, I love designing them, I love giving them all backstories and things like that. However, naming them, I just can't ever figure that out. So if you have any name suggestions, I would love to hear them. For this illustration today, I did do line art, which I am normally a line art kind of girly, but recently I have been into more of a lineless painting kind of a style. I'm not sure if you can technically call this lineless because I do actually do the line art most of the time and then paint over it later on. So I don't know if that's considered lineless or not. However, this is my quote unquote lineless style. So that's what we're gonna call it. I did struggle a bit with the idea of doing a more lined piece, but I do want to add a bit more of the illustration style to my portfolio. So I decided against the full on line art of the whole thing and decided to go a bit more flat painterly. It honestly took me a long time to decide on each girl's magical outfit and I'm not too sure that I won't tweak and try new things in the future because I plan on drawing them more than once. But I do think I'll keep the same bases so that way each girl has something different on but just tweaked to my desire. 
I am following that quote-unquote trope of each girl having their own color scheme and own color palette so that way they're easier to decipher between. <laughs> but I think that's classic anime magical girl fashion. I think my love for magical anime girls started at a very young age, although I didn't know that was the category I was in. Things like Winx Club, which I feel like to some extent My Little Pony is definitely in that category. And the crazy thing is I didn't really even get into anime until a much later age, probably about 17, 18-ish time. I wasn't really allowed to watch it at a younger age or I thought I wasn't and then when I got older and realized how much I absolutely love cartoons and I love cartoons that have plot in it and realized oh my god that's exactly what anime is that's when I really started getting into it my first anime ever was Your Lion April which is so hard and difficult and it's crazy when I tell people that because they're like that's a rough one I sobbed I cried the whole time it was so good but then my love for magical anime girls and things like Sailor Moon, Puella Mode Magica, things like that came a little bit later actually. I was much more into the romance animes than the magical transformation kind of animes. I didn't even watch Sailor Moon until about two years ago and I loved it. It was so good. I only have watched Sailor Moon Eternal and I think it's Crystal. Both of which I am a huge fan of Sailor Jupiter because she is that girl. I absolutely hate Tuxedo Mask. I think he's kind of a waste of character. I feel like he just gets hypnotized all the time and the girls always have to go and save him. Which like, you know, go women, go off. But I just, I just don't like him. Sorry everyone. He's not for me. But I love the whole transformation sequence. I think the special effects in... Which one is it? Oh my gosh, I think it's Eternal. In Sailor Moon Eternal, the special effects are so good, immaculate. Oh, I love them so much. So if you haven't seen it, 10 out of 10, highly recommend, go watch it. Uh, Puella Mode Magica, I thought was going to be this cutesy little magical girl anime. It's about like 12 episodes. Got super dark, super fast. So good. I don't think enough people have seen it. And that is on my highly recommend list because the story is insane for 12 episodes. That's a day. That's... That's one day off from work, so I believe in you. What else have I seen? I think those are my biggest two. I will say that I do like now that more Western animation is now adapting these more anime-inspired shows. The Owl House, so good. Amphibia also has that same kind of power-up situation. 10 out of 10, so good. I love animations that have that storyline and the plot to it, and I think that's being more and more desired amongst the western animation community so we're winning folks we are eating we are eating every day love that
like I said, I do quite enjoy this more lineless style. I wish I wouldn't have done a more finished line art before I started painting. Normally, whenever I try this painting style, I just use the sketch and go from there. I feel like it makes it a bit more fluid, gives it a bit more movement as sketches do. So the next time I approach this, I think I want to do something more like that, but we'll see. So. But that's all I have for you guys this week. If you liked this video, please leave a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!